All right, jabronis, let's just freaking do this. I'm well aware that Mario Maker 2 has been out for like 10 days at this point. So, so just the fact that you're here and watching this video anyway, it, it means a lot to me. There's so much I do want to say about this game. I want to gush about all the things in Mario Maker 2 that I love. And then I also want to talk about all the things that I don't love as much. The things that are oh so bad. Luckily the good more than outweighs the terrible in Mario Maker 2. There's just a lot that we have to get through today. So how about I just shut up and make the video? Okay, let's -a go. go. To start with, I want to get this out of the way. Recently I ranked like 100 Switch games from like best to worst. And I highly recommend watching that video because it makes me money. But <laughs> I want to say that the SSS ranking, like the top tier Mario Odyssey, Smash Brothers, and Zelda. Yeah, you can go ahead and whack this bad boy up there too. It's definitely in the top four best exclusive Nintendo Switch games without question. So what goes into making it so great? Well, you actually. You're breathtaking. You go into making it so great because you get to make your own Mario levels, which from the start is just a really fun concept. I think really the only successful game the Wii U saw, unless you're counting Breath of the Wild, which no one really does, is probably Mario Maker. It put the Wii U on the map. It was the first game that live streamers and content creators alike decided, screw the fact that Nintendo is going to claim everything I make on any of their games. There's no way that I am not playing Mario Maker on my channel. It was just too much fun. So it's no surprise that there's a big hubbub about the sequel. Check Mark, right there. God, I've been wanting this. I was like, this is the one game I need from Wii U to come over. <laughs> And for those that can't fathom how a game that doesn't actually consist of a game, rather you have to make your own game or play other games that other people have made, can be one of the most popular games on the Nintendo Switch. Whether or not you love Mario games, whether you grow up with them or you've just dabbled in them every now and then, nothing can compare to the sheer joy that is creating your own video game, which is what you do in this. Granted, you are limited to Mario games, all of them, ever, because you can switch between all of the different themes, even now with the Mario 3D world, but you are still creating a video game. The creation tools that are given to you, in my opinion, are flawless. You have everything open to you, everything that's ever existed in a Mario game and then some, and it's just so easy to click and drag and place things where you want to place them, whether you're doing it in handheld mode with your finger or even like, I, I built my entire first level with my pro controller on my TV and I had no issues doing it that way either. It's just so simple and easy to learn. And I'm not a super creative person either. I thought going into Mario Maker 2, well, my voice just broke. I thought going into Mario Maker 2, I wouldn't really be doing as much creating as I would be doing the playing because I just didn't know what I would even make. But as soon as you start throwing some bricks and blocks and coins down onto a stage, your mind starts to go wild. Like while I was building my very first level, which I spent hours on, Trash level, you make garbage levels. Levels of garbage. Levels of trash. I started to think, wouldn't it be cool to make a level that was so insanely chaotic, but all you really had to do was stand in one place and everything just kind of happened around you and you didn't even have to move to win and beat the level. And so I made that. And then I set a challenge to you guys to see who could beat it first and fastest with the most points, thinking there was no way anyone could actually do it that much faster than the one minute it took to slowly ride around my level. And then within moments, people were setting the highest score of like 10 seconds. You guys are insane. Slow down on the Mario Maker, you're playing way too much of it. I asked you guys on Twitter if you were able to, can you record yourself playing my levels and watching people play through and their brains go into motion trying to figure out the world that I had built. It was really cool. Beat em Ups has made a Super Mario Maker 2 level and put the call out on Twitter saying who can beat this and who can get the best time. The interesting thing, which really makes me excited about this is that the current world record is being held by none other than the wolf den's bob i'm very excited trash levels levels of trash go there we go that's it that's it that's how you do it oh and side note i love the title screen for this game when you boot it up you'll have a different created stock level each time and you can actually play the title screen if you go straight into the make option 
you'll actually load up that title screen. So if you were inspired by it or if you liked it, you can change it and add to it in some way, or of course just demolish it and start again. And then when you start building your own levels, the next time you boot up your Switch, the title screen will actually be the level you made. It's such a simple little addition, but it adds such nice polish to it, and it's really cool to load up a game and see my level. And then if you're in the middle of making it, of course you can hit make and dive straight back into it. I, I want to say that I wasn't actually going to talk about the online in my video whenever I made it, because I intended to make this video like a week ago. Unfortunately, well not really unfortunately, but it was Kim's birthday and then we had 4th of July. Okay, run. Run. <laughs> That was perfect. You finally got two at once. Yeah. <laughs> I've never run so fast in my life. You never run. I know. <laughs> That's why I was fast. I just could not get around to making this video until now. And again, if I hadn't made this video back when I wanted to, I probably wouldn't have mentioned the horrible online because I figured, well, the game just came out. I'm sure they'll figure out the bugs. Nope. It's been like 10 days at this point. I played online last night and I had by far the worst online experience I had so far and that's saying something. I tried to do the little 30 second screen grab on my Switch. I'm not sure how well that's going to come across on the screen here. But when you load up into an online match, you get that 3, 2, 1 countdown and then you all start running along the level trying to beat each other, right? Well, like three minutes into this online match, I hadn't even got past the starting line. I'm sure a lot of you brilliant mathematicians can figure out the frame rates here judging by just how slow this this 3, 2, 1 countdown is happening. But this, literally, that that is unplayable. Like, I am not out of bounds to say the online in Mario Maker is unplayable, because out of like the 20 to 30 online matches I have tried to have since this game launched, I had one that was flawless and actually playable. And it's something that I refuse to touch until it's fixed, which is sad because it's such a fun concept. Being able to play these versus Mario Maker levels online and racing against other people to be the best, there are so many modes in Mario Maker 2 and that was definitely one I was most excited for and right now it's unusable. And I do think that's pretty sad and I would even go as far as to say pathetic considering that everyone pays for this online service now. Anyway, as I said, I wasn't going to talk about that but it has been almost two weeks so maybe fix it Nintendo. It's about time. But that isn't the only online feature and thankfully the other online features work perfectly like playing other people's levels. It's almost crazy unbelievable how seamlessly effortless you can play other people's levels in Mario Maker 2. You just load up the list of levels that other creators have made, pick the one that you want to play, hit play, and you are playing it within seconds. It really doesn't even have to load or download anything. And then of course, if you really like the level that you've discovered, you can download it and play it whenever you want. Oh, and that's something else that actually blew my expectations. I kind of figured that most of these online levels were going to be stupidly hard, perfect timing, spin jumping off spiky shells in mid-air, where you have to get every little jump perfect, otherwise there's no way you're going to be able to beat the level, or just a ton of troll levels, but that really isn't the case. If you scroll through the popular tab, you'll actually find some really creative, unique, and not that hard levels. Just fun, awesome stuff people have made. And the creativity that go into some of these levels, I don't know what y'all are doing out there to come up with this stuff, but I found a Pikmin level, and it actually felt like I was playing a Pikmin game. They even made the spaceship, they had the spaceship crash, and then at the end, when you finish it, they found a way to put you back in the spaceship. This is freaking brilliant. And if none of this interests you, if you don't want to make stuff, or you don't want to play things other people have made, and you just want to play Mario levels on your Switch made by actual game developers, well, you can do that too. There's an addition of story mode. And while the story is very not there. <laughs> Essentially, Peach's castle gets blown the heck up by the rocket that erases the Mario Maker levels while you're building them. It's all very canon. Or meta? I'm not sure what word I'm looking for. Either way, the castle gets blown up and it's your job to rebuild it. You do that by playing through over a hundred developer-made levels, getting coins throughout the level, and then a reward for finishing those levels. I've said level a lot in this video. Someone do a tally for me. And then you use those coins to build up certain parts of the castle and you progress through until you've built all of them. You unlock rewards as you go, like outfits. But for the most part, you're just playing through a series of random levels, and I do like them. Every level presents a different challenge. They all feel very varied, which was impressive considering there was over a hundred and no two really felt the same. You always had to be doing something different, wacky and crazy. They range from really stupidly easy to really hard, and obviously the 
harder the level, the more reward coins you get. But on top of all of that, these levels actually act as a way to kind of teach you or inspire you when it comes to creating your own levels, because they do tackle very different elements of Mario Maker and what you can do with the development tools. And it's really fun. I actually played through the entire story mode in just a few sittings because I really liked the levels. And obviously, building up the castle gets addicting. Although I will say as another negative, Mario Maker 2 is the first Mario game where I decided I hate Luigi. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! So as I said, there are a ton of different modes in Mario Maker 2, and I probably haven't even discovered them all yet, despite the fact that I have spent well over 30 hours on this title since it launched. It's the only thing I've played since it launched, truly. But the mode I'm probably having the most fun with now is the Endless Mode. You can pick between Easy, Hard, Expert, and Super Expert, and they'll just keep on throwing random creator-made levels at you until you finally run out of lives, and then that's your run over. It's a gauntlet of challenging Mario Maker, well, unless you pick Easy, but assuming you're playing on Expert like I do, not Super Expert, I, I'm not that good at Mario Maker, but Expert like I do, it's a gauntlet of really challenging levels, and it's fun. Yeah. No, until you're on a run that's actually going really well and you're like 10 levels in and then you hit that random troll level that just eats up all your lives. Those are frustrating, and you're always gonna get them. <laughs> One thing I really appreciated is that all four of these modes, from easy to super expert, actually register as separate playthroughs. So if you're like 20 levels into an endless easy run, and you want to kick up that difficulty, you can actually leave off there and start one in normal or expert, and then go back to your easy run whenever you feel like. Again, one of those niceties they added to the game. It's like they thought of almost everything possible to just make it a smooth, fun experience. And honestly, the next negative about this this game really isn't even directly about this game. It's about Mario Brothers U. Remember how that game got ported to the Switch and I made a video raising the question, hey, why wasn't this Mario 3D world, you know, the actual good Mario game that was on Wii U? And I know that was a little controversial. There was a lot of people in my comments saying, I really enjoy Super Mario Brothers U. And that's fine. I'm not trying to take that away from you. I just didn't feel like it was a very inspired Mario game. It felt like Mario games that we've had for the last few years, really ever since the Wii and 3DS Mario's, they've all kind of just felt the same to me and not super inspired, not that exciting. Whereas Mario 3D World, that was super exciting, super inspired. They took the formula of like the 2D side-scrolling Mario's and then the 3D World exploring Mario's and mushed them together into what I felt like was the evolution of the 2D Mario games. And it was by far not only one of the best Mario games of all time, but also one of the best Wii U games there was. So why not port that to the Switch is what I said. Why do we have this game being ported to the Switch? And now, that seems even more redundant to me. I mean, right? Because Mario U, that theme, you can now create endless levels in that style in Mario Maker. But Mario 3D World, while there is a theme for that, it's still 2D. It's nowhere near what 3D World was, and 3D World still seems like it has a place on the Switch. I would still take that port and play it, because it is very different to this kind of Mario game. But Mario Brothers U? That just seems like a weird $60 game on Switch now. I don't know why anyone would go out and buy that at this point now that there's this, and I really don't know why anyone would have gone out and bought that in the first place. Unless they were just really desperate to play Mario before this came out. Just a weird side note I wanted to add in. Maybe that's still just a controversial opinion on my behalf. Uh, but anyway, Mario Maker 2, for what it is, um, perfect. I don't think they really could have done anything all that much better with this game. They knocked it out of the park. However, there is one thing that's missing, and I feel like it's kind of obvious what they're gonna do in Mario Maker 3. Cause hear me out here. Mario Maker 1, it gave you the base tools to create Mario levels. I mean, you couldn't even do slopes. There was a lot that was missing. You could still be very creative, but it wasn't a fully fleshed out Mario making experience like the second one was. And that was the big improvement over the first. They gave you every tool in every way they could so you could fully imagine and create your Mario Maker levels, but you can still only make levels, not entire worlds, not actual Mario games, just levels. So honestly, my theory, my expectation is that if we do and when we do get Mario Maker 3, the big addition to that will probably be 
world builder. You'll have that big overworld map and you can actually design that now. You probably won't get to do an entire game. I'm not talking about eight worlds. You can string them all together, but you'll probably be able to create at least an entire world with like eight levels in it. Maybe that's a little too hopeful, but I don't really see where else they could go from here without giving us that ability. For now though, I'm more than content just designing levels. And honestly, until Dragon Quest Builders 2 releases later this month, my Switch is only really ever going to get booted up just to play some more Mario Maker. Yeah, I, I am addicted. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching this video, even though the game's been out for like two weeks at this point. It means a lot to me, and if you want to watch me play the game, I have a video of that on my channel, and you can click or tap right here to watch that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And I'm probably gonna make a couple more videos of me playing the game too because it is so much fun. And I wanna do a playthrough of Endless Mode to see how far I can get. If I do Expert, probably ain't gonna be that far. <laughs> if you like this video and you wanna prove it, smash that like button, hair flip all over the subscribe button. Um, I asked Bob to be in this video since he is such a Mario Maker fanatic. I don't know if he actually recorded anything for me, but if he did, uh, here it is. Go away. I'm playing Mario Maker. Get out of here. Bye. Oh, I found Chip.